you are presented with an option, rather a fork in the road. You want to be a director, but how the heck do you do that? So, let's figure that one out. Early in my career, right out of film school, I saw basically three paths to becoming a film director. One, you have a rich uncle that pays for your projects and you are all set. Two, you work your way up the ladder starting as a PA, then moving up until you reach director, and then you get to direct your first movie at the age of 45 if you started in your 20s, and then hope they'll let you do another one. Or three, you suck it up, make your own first feature, which launches you to your next, and then maybe you find yourself directing the next Star Wars, and it only took you three movies. Gareth Edwards. While it is not likely you are going to be directing Star Wars, it is likely that you will get your next film going because of your first. And you are far ahead of scenario number two and on your way to becoming the uncle in scenario number one. So why does this even matter? Why look at the paths in which to have a career in directing movies? First of all, if you want to work your way up the ladder, that's totally fine. But chances are you're going to have to make a movie at some point to prove that you can. So why not start now? And secondly, it really is a way of showing you that it takes a whole heck of a lot of work. As you can guess, I'm a fan of the third scenario. I don't have a rich uncle and I don't want to work my way up the ladder because that takes way too long. So I'm left with the last option and I'm going to make my own opportunities. Let me tell you how it has worked out for me so far. My first film, Bounty, I made on credit cards. Shot for 15 days, posted for two years, and then eventually got it picked up by a distributor, and now it is available on iTunes, VOD, Netflix, aired on TV a few times, and even has the Lionsgate label attached to it. A few years later, I got asked to direct another feature for another group of folks solely on the fact that I had directed a movie before that was completed and got distribution. Follow through will do you wonders. That movie got picked up for distribution through Pure Flix Entertainment. So where am I today? While I might not be directing Star Wars, I do have two features under my belt that have both received distribution, and that is further along than when I was deciding which path I should take. If we're looking at directing for becoming a career, you have to learn to turn your art into something sustainable. And working in the world of micro-budget, moving fast is a key element. You can't expect to be able to do 18 takes on a shot that will not be in the movie for more than five seconds and get away with it you will also likely be spending some of your own money or even your family's money. And if so, treating that cash wisely is very important. If we want to revert back to follow through, then 18 takes and 20 hour days is flirting with disaster and you can expect to go way over budget or risk never completing your film. So following the path of the make your own opportunities, the way I think is best, working fast, smart, on time and on budget will be key to getting your project done. If you want to hear more of my filmmaking insights, then consider subscribing and join in the quest to make micro-budget filmmaking profitable and more than just a hobby. Filmmaking, micro-budget, no problem.